Hello, Facebook fans and YouTube fans of DX Engineering. It's Thursday afternoon here in the Eastern Time Zone of the U.S. It's 1830 Zulu on May 23rd, 2024. And this is the Manufacturer Showcase brought to you by DX Engineering. And this is a show where we try to get one of our over 175 different manufacturers, and a lot of them are exclusive to DX Engineering, to come on and talk about their products here on uh, the show and so that you can learn more about what's going on. And we do encourage you to ask questions of our guest as well. Today, we have Mike W5REZ from Res Antenna Systems. Hello, Mike. How are you? I'm doing well, Tim. Thanks for having me on today. Mike, uh, how was the hamvention for you? Uh, Hamvention was a lot of fun. Uh, it was the first time I'd ever been up there um, to Dayton and uh, got to enjoy Ohio and get a couple of parks on the air activations in. Got to meet a lot of great people and talk to a lot of uh, nice people there at the DX engineering booth that had come by to say hi and check out uh, all the new products that we had out. And um, it was just a good time and I'm looking forward to it next year. So, Mike, let's talk about some of those new products. What What's new? So this year, uh, right before Hamvention, we released our Recon 40, which is our new base-loaded uh, vertical, which is a fixed inductance coil that uh, will feed a 17-foot uh, uh, telescoping whip and uh, allow you to work 10 through 40 meters and uh, it's a full quarter wave from 20 through 10. And then you uh, activate the loading coil uh, to achieve 40 meters. And that's one of the uh, unique design features of our coil is that it has an integrated coil bypass switch, which makes it very easy to change bands between 20 and 40 and uh, get the rest of your bands as well with that coil off. And... Um, it uh, was received really well, and I had a lot of a lot of great positive feedback. And uh, uh, some people had already, uh, by the time Hamvention had rolled around, some people already had them in their hands, ordered them from from DX Engineering, and uh, got to see a couple people post their activations on the uh, Parks on the Air Facebook page. So that was really fun to see, and. Um, took one with me as well and, and use that for the two activations I did out there um, while I was at uh, Hamvention. And so, um, so Mike, are you seeing mm -hmm. uh, Are you seeing the photos? Uh, I don't see the photos. Oh, there they are. Yep. Here we go. Great. Yep. So that's the, uh, that's the switch I was mentioning there. Um, it's a waterproof toggle switch that'll uh, turn that coil either on or off. And uh, the whole body of the antenna is also weather sealed. So we have O-rings and gaskets uh, at all the joints to make sure that uh, water stays out of the out of the coil, and uh, uh, you can use it in the uh, in the rain and leave it up if you want. Uh, makes for a, a very robust uh, design there, and. Um, very similar to our other coils, um, it's got the uh, the radial puck there, which also makes getting the radials on and off very easy during your uh, parks on the air or field day deployment. And that's uh, one of the things that we kept in mind while while making this system is uh, make it fast to get set up, get on the air, and then set uh, get get torn down and. and and get out of there so a lot of uh people like the convenience of that myself included and um it's uh it's turned out to be a really really nice product i'm really happy with the way it came out getting some great feedback so um some of the other details uh real quick is we have um 14 gauge copper wire on the coil and um that allows for a nice efficient coil when you're on 40 and we played around with modeling to kind of figure out what the best formula was going to be for the spacing diameter that kind of thing um, 
with given the uh, form factor that we want it to stay within. So I'll uh, put a little effort in there and um, I think that paid off really well. Um, it'll handle 500 watts sideband, 300 watts CW, 200 watts uh, at the percent duty cycle. Uh, so it's a, it's, it can handle some power. I know a lot of people don't run power with parks on the air and things like that, but, uh, just gives you plenty of headroom. So we don't have to worry about, uh, ruining anything if you're running uh, digital modes. So here's the, uh, the manual, Mike, uh, and boy, is this a beautiful manual. Well, thanks. <laughs> it, uh, it just, it shows you everything that you need to know shows you how to hook up the uh, the pod radial kits telescoping whip the ground spike how to deploy it you I'm, not sure, lot, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure I'm seeing it I'm not sure I'm said I'm not seeing the manual on my end okay I just um, see the web page but that's are, okay are you back on the <laughs> website now yeah we're on the website okay Great. And uh, you have technical articles and instructions, and uh, it's very nice. And, and uh, Mike, the good news is we have more than 10 of them in stock and available to ship tonight. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we stocked up uh, ahead of time. And um, you can get those right now, and they'll get shipped very fast. Um, and uh, like Tim was saying, um, the manual's right there, so... You know, you can download that ahead of time as you're waiting for it and and get to uh, check out how to set it up and be prepared and uh, be able to uh, hit the ground running and uh, go do an activation. Right. And you've got um, the Res Antenna Systems Ranger ADHF coil as well. Yes. Uh, why don't you talk for a minute about that? Sure. So this is the uh, variable inductance coil that we have which will cover um, 15 through 80 meters with the military whip that we offer, but it'll also cover 10 through 80 meters with the Z17 17 foot telescoping whip. And um, as you can see there, uh, you can adjust the inductance by moving that uh, tap collar up and down and fine tune it in, get your resonant point right where you need it. Um, and operate like that. And it's also uh, really great for mobile use as well. Um, I've got one on my truck and um, I run a 56 inch whip on there. And that allows me to work uh, 10 through 40 meters uh, mobile. So plenty of um, plenty of robustness to uh, a nice uh, mobile whip on there. And um, it's been working out really great for me. It's a nice, nice way to operate. Yeah, and it, it, the thing I I like about your um, antennas, uh, Mike, is everything is heavy duty. I mean, you really built uh, a really nice system, and uh, you know, let's take a look at the reviews. Um, and you know, all five stars here, um, which is just great. I mean, there's nothing like having feedback on your product. And having the guys review these, yeah. these great yeah. products. Mike. That's nice. And yeah, you can see right there. Well, thank you very much. Um, we put a lot of effort into making them, like you said, heavy duty and, and long lasting and uh, easy to use. And um, yeah, you can see right there. Somebody's got that on his truck. So um, you can deploy it, you know, many different ways. And and um, it's great. Oh, see, he's got the double. So I. I remember this uh, customer. I sent him uh, a double uh, collar setup so he can switch bands there between the two. Uh, that was kind of a custom thing I did for him. But um, yeah, you can um, you know have a bunch of different configurations. Uh, people who are in apartments and things like that, you know, can deploy it like that and on a balcony with a short whip and and get on the air. So uh, it's a it's a versatile uh, piece of kit right there the the ranger 80. yeah it's very nice I, I you know let's let's go back and take a look at uh, some of your other antennas here mike um you've got the 
you talked about the heavy duty military whips yep. uh, and the telescoping whip. And then you, you've got a, um, the Ranger ADHF portable system that, that's got all the components. Now we don't have that in stock right now, um, but uh, hopefully soon. Yeah. Um, so that's the, that's the whole kit. Um, that's really tailored for your uh, parks on the air uh, soda type uh, operators and uh, as well as a course field day, but you can uh, go ahead and get that whole kit that DX engineering's put together for you. And um, that way, you know, you don't have to uh, think about what components you need. Everything's right there and it's all within the same brand. So it'll all work together very well and you'll get support on every component of your kit from the same company. So that's always nice. Yeah. We, I, these, uh, these kits are very popular and, uh, we'll have them in stock soon. Um, I know there's a lot of the kits that we're putting together and we need to make sure we have all of the components at once, but, uh, uh, lots of stuff from resi antenna that is in stock. Mike, uh, uh, what did you learn at Dayton? What, what, tell me something you learned about uh, customer feedback at Dayton. Yeah, so um, a lot of the things that I heard you've, you've already mentioned, but um, I've learned, I learned a lot from people who kind of came up to me and said, hey, I have an idea for this or I have an idea for that. So kind of wrote a bunch of that stuff down. And so we're going to take that and, and look at it and see, you know, what uh, products we can come out with that'll fill those needs. Um, and then also some feedback on, on what we're doing that maybe we can improve some, some things here and there. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I think um, Dayton was, was a lot of fun and, and I got to walk around and see all the, the used gear and all that stuff. So, um, it, it was, it was very fun and, and I appreciated you, uh, having me out there to be at the DX engineering booth. Yeah, it was a real treat to have you, Mike. And I do want to recognize the folks in the chat room, K zero Zulu, Norway, Zulu, whiskey, Juliet three United is on Dawn with us. Bobby from Oklahoma city, KF five golf, Tango X-ray, and uh, Dawn, Whiskey Julia 3 United said, I watched KB9 VBR's video on the Res 40. It was a favorable review and uh, getting a lot of people watching that. Uh, Ken said, I bought two at Hamvention, one for myself and one for a friend. I talked to Mike in the morning. He's a nice guy. Dino said, I had a great Hamvention. Sorry we missed running into you, Tim. Mike. Will the typical three to one capable rig antenna tuner take you across the bands? 73 from Dino. Um, well, so to answer that question, I'm assuming that's directed at the recon 40. Right. Um, so um, basically that, that coil is going to have enough bandwidth to cover 40 meters without having to make any adjustments. As long as you get that tuned to the middle of the band. But the great thing is, is you don't have to have a tuner with that antenna. You can uh, adjust that resonant point to be right where you want it or, you know, operate um, either up or down from that point and still be under two to one. And then, you know, of course, if you want to uh, use a tuner to clean up whatever mismatch is left over, that's absolutely fine, but um, not necessary to to have. So, OK. Well, that sounds great, Mike. And uh, Bruce said, uh, great product. I've had my Ranger 80 for over a year. It's excellent for parks on the air. And Bruce is on with us, November Radio 4 Kilo as well. Well, Mike, thanks very much. We look forward to hearing more about uh, your products and uh, continue to uh, get them on the shelf. And we will sell them here at DX Engineering. And uh, we're really thrilled that you were able to be uh, at our booth the Dayton. Uh, Skip says uh, Recon 40 high performance HF antenna coil. There's the YouTube link uh, to uh, take a look at and over 60,000 views 
Uh, congratulations, Mike. You're setting records. That's that's really that's cool. Fantastic. <laughs> thanks for being on today, Mike. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. Okay. And thanks to all of you for viewing. Come on back tomorrow. We got the weekend special, and it's a dandy. It is a dandy. Tomorrow afternoon, we will have Michael Coulter and uh, Jim Storms from the Dayton Hamvention. They're going to reveal the attendance numbers for this year's Hamvention. And also, Doug Grant, K1DG, is going to be talking about contesting at Dayton. Join us then. Until then, 73 from DX Engineering and Mike at Res Antenna.